Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another fun fairy tale story time uh, program. It's July. Can you believe it's July already? Are you guys hot and sweaty? I hope you're at least enjoying the weather. And today's book is about the little red hen. Now there are a couple of different versions of the little red red hen, and if you, I'm not going to read all of the story today. Um, I want you guys to get your copies. So you, again, you can reserve copies from the library. You can give us a call, or you can go online, or um, you can come in and get a copy, or you can go to Hoopla and download copies that way too. So this one is The Little Red Hen by Paul Galdon, and he's written lots of fairy tale books. If you look on the back of the book, there's Little Red Riding Hood, and The Three Little Pigs, and The Gingerbread Boy, and my favorite, The Th Three Billy Goats Gruff. So let's read a little bit about The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, a cat, a dog, a mouse, and a little red hen all lived together in a cozy little house. Looks like a nice house. The cat liked to sleep all day on a soft couch, as does my cat. And the dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. Most dogs do that. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. It's strange the cat and mouse get along, don't you think? Hmm. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the bed. She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. Sounds like another fairy tale. Sounds a bit like Cinderella. Hmm. She raked the leaves and she moved, mowed the grass and she hoed the garden. And one day when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? Cried the red hen. Do you think dog, cat, and mouse helped? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds, and soon the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. What could you do with a field of wheat? You think you could turn it into something to eat, maybe? When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, who will cut the wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. Are we seeing a pattern here? We are. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, now who will take the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Can you guess what the cat said? Not I. Can you guess what the dog said? Not I. Can you guess what the mouse said? Not I. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Now I want you to get a copy of the little red hen so that you can find out what happens at the end of this book. Uh, it looks like Little Red Hen does all the work, but if she makes something delicious out of that flour, maybe she'll have some treats. All right, so make sure you reserve a copy of the Little Red Hen, and Miss Kristen has a really cool Little Red Hen craft for you. So Miss Kristen's gonna come and show you how to make this craft right here. Hi, everybody. Craft time again. So we're gonna do the little red hen, and this is your bag that you picked up from the library and your instructions there. So in the bag, you get to have, <laughs> you 
you get a piece of paper and this little red hen has shapes. So there's a circle or a half circle and another half circle, a triangle and a heart shape. And we're gonna do a, you are little red hen who had to do all the work. Into our paper. And let's give her a wing. And a tail. That's a triangle. Feather. And then this goes on the top of her head. That's our heart shape. And everybody needs a beak. of your picture and we need to put her in her nest. Give her a nice soft nest to sit in. how she looks and I wrote little red hen in there and I hope you read the rest of the story at home. Thanks. Hi everybody it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library at our downtown main location and I'm here to talk to you about the stem component of your little red hen grab and go bag. So in here in addition to all the cool craft stuff you've got you have a little cup. Oop, took that from earlier. And inside the cup, in addition to the cup, hold on, some craft supplies got in. <laughs> so you have your cup, you have a clothespin, you have a spoon, and you also have a straw. So what's up with this stuff? These things are similar to different kinds of beaks the different species of bird have in the wild. And your challenge is to experiment what tool works best to pick up what kinds of bird food. So go out into your yards or with your grown-ups permission, rifle through your kitchens and see what can you pick up with the spoon? What can you pick up with a clothespin? What can you pick up with the cup, if you squish it like that. And what kind of birds do you think have these different kinds of beaks? Like what kind of bird drinks something through a straw? Also on your little instruction sheet here, you'll see this big logo. This is for the Audubon Bird Guide app, which is free for Android and Apple devices and it's basically it's a bird guide and you can listen to different kinds of bird calls you can learn what the different birds are that you see based off of what you can look them up by color by location by size by lots of different um, bits of data like that and you can figure out what birds you have living in your own backyard it also has links to their website which has a lot of really cool educational materials. So have fun birding and have fun experimenting. And we'll see you next time. Bye.